Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to easily translate your email designs using markdown formatting in an Excel spreadsheet via the Emailify plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is set up the Emailify plugin by going to the resources icon in your Figma toolbar and click on that. And if you search for the word Emailify, so that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y and click on the plugins tab and you should see Emailify pop up. If you click on that and then either click on the run button here or you can click on this more options icon to save the plugin to your plugins list for later, uh, that will allow you to run it from your Figma file. So I've already saved it to my plugins list. So I'm going to click on the canvas, right click, go down to plugins, go down to save plugins, and then I'm just going to click on the emailify uh, option. And that's going to run the plugin that we just set up a second ago. Okay, so I've already got an email design set up and I'm not gonna be going through too much of the design process in this tutorial. If you are new to the plugin and are wondering how to design these emails using Emailify, there's a bunch of other YouTube tutorials on our channel. Just search for the uh, Emailify playlist and you'll be able to find a bunch of those. Um, but basically you can add these components via the tabs up here and customize the design and content here. So I've just created a really simple one for today because we're gonna localize this content into different languages with markdown formatting so we can actually format the text. So to get started, I'm just gonna create a few uh, pieces of formatting in this existing content, just so we can see what it looks like when we export it in a second. So I'm just gonna change a couple of things to be bold. Uh, maybe we'll do some italics. And the other thing we can also do is links. So if we wanna add some links, into here. So if we wanted to highlight this content and create a link, you just highlight it, go up to the link icon in the top, click on create link, and then you can basically just add a link in there. So I'm just gonna add a link and that's gonna create the link in here. So now that we've got a few different things set up in the content, all we need to do is go back to the plugin, click on the localize button, and then we can select the Excel option, which is selected by default, and select the emails we want to export. So this is the default way of exporting it, and you just have to include what locales you want to translate this into. So for example, we could do uh, French, we could do German, uh, we could do Australian, not that it's really different, but we'll do that anyway. And then this time we're also gonna to toggle a brand new option called add markdown. So what this option does, if we enable it, is uh, if you click on that link, it'll take you to the documentation page for Emailify, and it just gives you a bit of an explanation about what this is going to do. Um, so I'll go through this with you once we've exported it. So let's go ahead and click on the export XLSX button. So I'm gonna click on that here. And that's just gonna go ahead and export all of our content from this email into a spreadsheet. And once it saves, you just double click on the zip file and you'll get an Excel file. So we can open this up in Excel just by double clicking it. You can use another tool if you wanna use Google Docs or a different spreadsheet tool, uh, you can definitely use that as well. But for today, we're just gonna be using Microsoft Excel. Okay, so we can see here that we've got our content that's been exported. So we've got our Figma text, which is all the text that's been exported from the content. And you'll notice that we've got some formatting uh, included in the spreadsheet. So what this means is it's basically using Markdown, which is a certain type of text formatting uh, syntax that allows you to have things like uh, double asterisks or underscores to specify things if a text is bold or if the text is italic. Uh, these are the different syntaxes you can use to specify that in Markdown. And so now that we've got the Markdown option enabled, this is also getting exported into our content. So for example, we can see here that the link that we added in Figma is now being rendered as a Markdown link in the spreadsheet. So in between these square brackets, you can see what the text for the link is, and immediately next to it in the regular brackets, you can see what the URL is or the website link is. And so that means we can basically now uh, customize these things uh, per locale. So if we wanted to make a copy of these for the French one, so let's say we wanted to actually change this in the French translation. 
and we just open that up so we can make that link different so we can do forward slash French for the link uh, maybe we want to actually remove the bold formatting for this particular part and we want to bold a different part so maybe we want to bold the word Japan so we can add the markdown syntax for the bold text around Japan instead and we can do this for all of the different locales so uh, for example if we want to remove the bold heading uh, for this translation we can basically just change that let's make it italics instead and we can also change just normal text as well so if we want to remove the ink from Jiro Sushi, we can remove that and let's do that for the Australian one uh, so any fields that you leave blank it will automatically just keep whatever's in the original uh, design so they won't get overridden but any that you populate per language will basically get overridden uh, from the other original text uh, the other quick thing to note is as well if you've already set up a pre-header and subject line in your emailify options so you can do that via the uh, either the settings so if you click on the email you can um, put in some different settings or if you go to the export so you can add a subject line and pre-header in the export settings so if you were to click on export html you can actually add the subject line and pre-header here I haven't done that yet so that's why these fields are blank but if you did that you would see the subject line and pre-header here and you can actually create uh, different languages uh, for those subject lines and pre-headers too so if we for example did French subject line and French pre-header uh, we'll see in a second that this will also get imported into the Figma designs so I'm just going to keep it really simple for now I'm just going to save that and I'm going to go back into my Figma design and click on the localize button once again and because I've now translated or added some translations to the Excel file I'm going to make sure that the import markdown formatting toggle is set because we exported the Excel spreadsheet using the markdown option uh, you definitely want to have the import markdown formatting enabled as well otherwise it's just going to import the text with the uh, markdown formatting included so it's going to include the asterisks and underlines and things like that instead of turning them into their markdown formatting uh, visually so let's do that now so all we need to do is drag in the excel file into this little drop zone area with our markdown formatting toggling uh, enabled just let go of that and you can see here that it's found three locales in the email that we want to import the content from so I'm just going to click on the localize selected frames button and we'll see that it's created a brand new page in our Figma file called email translations with a little timestamp and you can see here that we've got a copy of our original frame so this is a copy of the, the frame that we originally exported so that's just a reference left as is and then it's created a locale for every translation that we added as well so we've got our Australian, uh, German and French and the cool thing is as we saw before is we've actually changed some of this formatting so instead of having this text here bold we've moved that bold text and removed it actually from the including word and put it on Japan and you will remember that we also changed the hyperlink so you can see if I hover over this that the hyperlinks actually been modified to be uh, forward slash French so that's been changed and then if we go over to this one you'll remember that we changed the bold text to italics so that automatically made the text italic and down here you'll remember that we removed the suffix from this little footer heading so you can see over here it's got the ink at the end and this one has nothing at the end um, so that's what that looks like there and so this is just a really easy way of using markdown to, to translate these emails with formatting so you can easily uh, change the hyperlinks you can easily change the formatting uh, per translation or you can just do it for the original translation as well the other quick thing I'm just going to show you is how we also imported the subject line and preheader. So if you go to the export HTML button and click on that and scroll down, you can see here that even though we didn't have a subject line set originally, uh, we did include it in our Excel spreadsheet just for the French translation. And you can see here that the French subject line and French preheader text 
have also been imported. So you can set that for all of your different emails if you want to translate uh, the subject lines and pre-header text as well. This can be a really easy way of doing it. And once you're ready to go, you can export all of these at once to HTML. So if we click on the export to HTML button, uh, that's going to export our emails for us. And give it one second. Now we can download our zip file. So I'm just going to save that to my desktop. Double click on that. And if we open it up and drop the preview uh, HTML into our browser, there we go. So we've got our original email. We've got our French email. You can see here the different previews. Uh, we've got our link that we imported. So you can see in the bottom left of the browser, it's got the French forward slash at the bottom. And then we've got our German version with the italic text. And finally, this one with the text removed at the bottom. And of course, all of these are just uh, inside of these folders. So these are all the actual individual emails. So if you want to grab one to actually use, you can grab that file, the previous files, basically just loading in uh, iframes or pointing to all these individual index files. But those are the ones you want to use uh, when you go and send out the email. Okay, so I think we're going to leave it there for today. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. If you've been wondering how to format your text using the Emailify localize feature, now you can basically uh, change your links per translation, translate your subject lines, preheaders, uh, change any formatting that you need to change uh, in a much more seamless way than having to manually do that when you re-import the content. So uh, yeah. So thank you for watching. Uh, I hope it improves your workflow if you're using the localization workflow in Emailify. And thank you as always for watching. We'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.